I'm Alex Montoy. I'm a faculty member here at Alma College, and I have been since 2016. I'm a 2010 grad, so I went to grad school and bounced around a couple jobs before ending up back here at Alma. I teach in our uh, Integrative Physiology and Health Science program. It's the program where most people would go uh, through to get into like physical therapy, uh, graduate programs, or athletic training, those kinds of programs. Getting to, getting to be here at Alma and get to work with faculty members, not only in a classroom, but in a laboratory space, you can really get a good sense on um, how you do different techniques and what's out there in the field. For me, especially in the exercise science uh, major when I, when I did that, realizing that I could actually contribute something new was really inspiring. It was, um, it was exciting to think that I might be able to be successful in this field and, and add new knowledge to it. And so that gave me a lot of energy and passion going into graduate school and, and beyond. Sometimes you don't realize what you have until you no longer have it. I certainly didn't appreciate how good my Alma education would be until I got to graduate school and, and realized how well prepared I was. Um, it made the, that transition actually fairly easy overall, and I, I really appreciated uh, that element of it. Having uh, the ability to do research as a student here made my first research project in grad school much uh, I was much more confident in it. I think I had a better product, and that certainly set up a good trajectory for me in my four years of, of graduate school. As a student here at Alma, I had the opportunity to do two research projects. One was, in, one of them in each of my majors. So one was a math project. I tried to model blood flow uh, using mathematical equations, which was, which was kind of neat. And then uh, on the exercise science side, I got to do an altitude physiology research project. It might sound strange, but Alma uh, John Davis, who was a faculty member here when I was a student, he was a renowned altitude physiologist. And being close to sea level here at Alma, he was actually able to provide a lot of what we call native lowlanders, so people who had never really spent time at altitude, and um, provide kind of comparison group to people who did regularly live at altitude. So had the opportunity to contribute to that project when I was a student. I think being a student at a small school, specifically Alma, uh, has really given me a good lens onto what I want to be as a faculty member. I very vividly remember the faculty members who went above and beyond, who took the time for me individually as a student. And so being in that role now, I want to be that, that faculty member to our current students and, and be the person who's there beyond just the, the bounds of when our classes are or when our laboratory times are and to realize that the students are going to have needs, interests, um, want to talk or try to figure out issues outside of those times. And so the more accessible I can be, the more I can, can be that mentor that I had as a student. I think as you transition from high school to college, there's only so much preparation you can do for that extra freedom you're going to get. In high school, you essentially take the classes that you're told to take and you may get one or two optional things. To get here at Alma and have to start making decisions about, okay, what classes do I take, knowing that that's going to influence what my next steps are after Alma, I think was a challenge for me. Having advisors, very supportive advisors, was a big help as I tried to explore different areas. And as I tried things that worked and tried things that didn't work, they were always there to help me reflect on what that meant and how that, or how I can use that information to, to move forward productively. So really appreciated that. But yeah, it was, that was a challenge, trying to figure out what do we do next? And, and you know, if I know where I think I want to go, what steps do I have to take to make sure I get to that point?